Yo, what up guys and welcome back to Alice T Tutorials. So today we got something special. It's a 2012 Chevrolet Cruze that we're gonna do uh, the window tint all the way around. We're gonna remove current tint that it has right now, install new. Uh, we're gonna go with my boy Alexis over here. Y'all wanna take a look, y'all wanna follow his build. We're gonna put the, the link down below on his ad name uh, so y'all can keep going on with the build if he decides to do anything else other than the tint. So we're gonna give you a little bit of techniques, little, uh, Nando, please give me some words. Uh, some some techniques, how to make this tent the easiest possible to install. We're gonna be popping seals. Some tips and tricks. Some tips and tricks for any Chevrolet Cruze uh, 2012 and up. So it's gonna be the same process for all Cruze. So yeah, stick around and stay tuned. All right guys, right now we, are removing the old tent that this car had from manufacture. So as you can see, there is no glue, no residue being left behind due to the fact that we're using the stiffy steamer. Right there. The stiffy steamer makes everything so much easier as we remove the tent for an easier, fastest removal and tent installation. Featuring that boy Nando. Remember everybody? Yeah, I was telling you I'm about to bring a new tenor on board. Well, we got him here. Okay. And uh, we're gonna keep making these videos. Everybody has been asking for all these videos. So we're gonna get back on making this video so y'all could, you know, y'all can stay tuned to all the techniques that we got for every car. All right, guys. So Fernando's prepping the uh, the film right now. He's about to install it. He's removing the uh, the liner. So whenever he uh, brings the pattern inside, he always has the liner protecting the film, the adhesive part. Uh, he's spraying water right now, so it could make it easier installation when he puts the window on the glass. Whoever needs pre-cuts for any year make a model of the car, y'all can feel free to DM me on the business page. I'm gonna have the business page at the end of the video so y'all could hit me up on the business page. So whatever pre-cuts you need for any year make a model of the car, any percent, we'll be able to ship them out to y'all. windows I'm about to show you on this window so y'all can get a quick uh, glimpse of how is it that I removed the door panel on this one so the same thing as the front ones just grab the door panel with the seal grab it together just push back and that's it that's literally it I'm about to show you how removing the film how uh, it's not leaving no residue so uh, Installation is gonna be way more easier and way more quicker. So I'm about to show y'all. Yeah. Either you could use the steamer or you could just peel it off and make sure if it, if it leaves any adhesive behind, you can keep if it leaves any adhesive behind, use the steamer. But if it doesn't use and doesn't leave any adhesive, just peel. As you can see. I don't know if you want to show the viewers over here, Alexis. So you can see, look, no, no residue, just nothing. So it's that easy. But if you want easier and faster, look how fast the steamer really helps remove the tent much way, way more quicker, make things much more easier. Literally, is. so I mean, I already gave you all the tip how to remove these door panels, the seals. 
So whenever we install, we're, I'm gonna show y'all why is it that it's easy to install with the, uh, the seals removed. And uh, y'all stay tuned to everything that we got going on. What to do, we're gonna remove the seals on this car and I'm about to show y'all. It has like more, like maybe like bike clips down the road. So this is what we're about to do as you can see. Actually, never mind. this car has no clips, no clips. All you gotta do is just basically put the seal backwards a little bit and you gotta take the little speaker not the speaker but como se llama esto nando um all right so basically you gotta remove this after you remove this little piece you should be able to pop this side of the of the door panel just enough to where it makes the installation easy so as you can see let me do it again i'm gonna push it back in then I'm gonna push it back out, just so y'all can see that it's that easy. So I'm not gonna do the other side. This same method is for the other side. So that's a quick tip for the front windows to get installed. All right guys, as y'all can see, I'm removing the old film and it's leaving no residue. So that's gonna make the tin installation way more quicker. This car usually gets tinted about 25 minutes so we're gonna show y'all how to a little quick labs on removing and installing the old and installing new film. So so far so good. So we already got the window already prepped up for installation. I'm about to show y'all why is it that removing the seals on every car is makes things much more easier. So right now I already got the pre-cut already done. So all I'm gonna do is just spray it with water. So I could just install it. So I'm about to show you. So. And I always spray the glass so it can make the installation a lot more easier. If you want to show the viewers from this angle over here. So basically, as you can see, I'm basically just tucking in the film, sliding it down. Sliding it all the way down. Once I slide it all the way down, I basically tend to always slide this side first. So none of this corners touch none of these seals or catch the breeze. So after the fact that I already removed the seal, and install the film, you can see that it's literally, the whole cut literally is tucked in there. I'm about to squeeze it out. I'm about to show y'all why one piecing every car is much more easier, saves you a lot more time and gets the car. Basically, obviously the, cost, the customer, sorry for uh, slurring it a little bit, but hey, the customer is always gonna want the car the word end up faster I, I, we tend to tell the customers oh the car is gonna be done 45 minutes to an hour and in reality this car takes 25 minutes to finish due to the fact that we're removing all the seals so as you can see half of the window is already squished I mean not squished half of the window is already installed all we're gonna do is just finishing up finishing it off by squeezing the bottom so that's done after squeezing the bottom all you do is just get the sides get the corners make sure everything's good and obviously I'm gonna do a little little second squeeze just to make sure that everything's good but this same process is the exact same thing you can do on the on the left uh, driver side so I'm just showing y'all on the passenger side after that's done all right guys all right guys so this window is done i'm about to install the seal back on you don't have to roll down the window all you do is just basically just push it that's it put this part back in there that's it that's easy Nothing difficult, simple. 
This is for all Chevrolet, uh, all Chevrolet Cruise. So remove the seal by just pulling backwards. It makes installation much more easier. All right, guys. So as you can see, I've cleaned the window. So y'all can see that no specs, no debris is underneath the film. It's literally stupid clean. It looks like it came, it came, the car came from factory. So as you can see, the car is. Hey, I have I have the client right in front of me, so the client knows that this car is real clean. So we're prepping up the window right now, so we could uh, install it. You know, already cleaned up the debris, that that extra film that was stuck to the glass. What we're gonna do right now is just do a little wipe down, get ready for the installation, and show y'all why is that removing seals is always best on every car, because every car you are able to remove seals. Not every, most of them. So, all right guys. seal back on so all you do is just basically lift and push lift and push lift and push that's it easy so you can see installation came out real real clean let's show you on the outside real real clean pretty sure you can't see because of the lighting but No debris, no light gaps, everything's covered. Everything's perfect. Perfect. 